Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. And this is Michigan from the Encyclopedia Freemasonry by Albert G. Mackey. Michigan. On September 7, 1794, Thomas Ainsley, Deputy Grand Master of the Athol Grand Lodge of Canada, granted a warrant for the organization of Zion Lodge No. 10 at Detroit. And this appears to have been the date of the introduction of masonry into that province. This lodge probably ceased to exist about 1805, and a dispensation for its revival was issued in 1807 by DeWitt Clinton, Grand Master of New York. Other lodges were subsequently established, and on July 31, 1826, a Grand Lodge was organized by them, and Louis Cass elected Grand Master. In consequence of the political pressure of the anti-Masonic party at that time, the Grand Lodge suspended its labors in 1829, and remained in a dormant condition until 1840, when, at a general meeting of the Masons of the state, it was resolved that the old Grand Officers who were still alive should, on the principle that their prerogatives had never ceased, but only been in abeyance, grant dispensations for the revival of the lodges and the renewal of labor. But this course having been objected to as irregular by most of the Grand Lodges of the United States, a constitutional number of lodges met in June 1841 and organized the Grand Lodge, electing General Lewis Cass Grand Master. The Grand Chapter was organized in 1848, the Grand Council in 1858, and the Grand Commandery in 1857. Zion Lodge was established by warrant, dated April 27, 1764, from Provincial Grand Master George Harrison of New York. It was numbered 448 on the Register of England and number one of Detroit. On September 3, 1806, this lodge was reorganized and the original warrant of 1764 was surrendered to the Grand Lodge of New York. The installation took place on July 6, 1807. Having forfeited its charter during the war with England, it was granted a new one as number 62 on March 14, 1816. But by a rearrangement of numbers in 1819, it became lodge number three. A convention met on June 24, 1826, to organize a Grand Lodge. Representatives of Zion, number 3, Detroit, number 337, Minamani, number 374, and Monroe, number 375, were present, and Oakland, number 343, joined later. On June 28, the Constitution was adopted, and on July 31st, Grand Officers were elected and installed. During the anti-Masonic agitation, the craft in this district almost died out. In 1837, however, Michigan became a state, and the increase of population caused a revival of Freemasonry. The Grand Lodge of Michigan was again constituted on September 17, 1844, and Grand Officers were duly elected. The members of Zion Lodge formed a chapter called Monroe Chapter No. 1 at Detroit, which was granted a dispensation by the General Grand High Priest, DeWitt Clinton, on December 3, 1818. The chapters in Michigan were authorized in January 1848 by the General Grand Scribe to meet and organize a Grand Chapter for the State. Representatives of Monroe Chapter No. 1, St. Joseph Valley No. 2, and Jackson Chapter No. 3 were present at a convention held on March 9, 1848, and Grand Officers were elected and installed. Monroe Council was formed by the members of Monroe Chapter No. 1 at Detroit. On May 13, 1856, at the annual assembly of the Grand Council of Connecticut, it was reported that a dispensation had been granted to Monroe Council No. 23 at Detroit. A meeting of the council was held on May 19, 1856, to receive the dispensation, and a code of bylaws was adopted. Representatives from Monroe, St. Clair and Pontiac Councils, all of which possessed charters dated May 12, 1857, met on January 13, 1858, at Detroit and formed a Grand Council. Detroit, number one at Detroit, was the first commandery to be organized in Michigan. Its dispensation was issued November 1, 1850, and its charter September 19, 1853. Six commanderies sent representatives to Detroit on January 15, 1857, and by warrant, issued February 12, 1857, instituted the Grand Commandery of Michigan. The Grand Master of the General Grand Encampment was present and installed the Grand Officers on January 11, 1858. 
the beginning of the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite in Michigan was at Detroit. On May 26, 1861, the Carson Council of Princes of Jerusalem was chartered. On May 22, 1862, the Detroit Carson Lodge of Perfection, the Mount Olivet Chapter of Rose Croix, and the Michigan Consistory were established. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe and comment and if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.